Dream Squad and welcome back to my channel today, you guys. Hello, good evening, good morning, good afternoon to some of you guys. You guys. All right, so I am on my way to take my daughter, my baby girl, to stat care. Um, now she's not feeling good. Um, runny nose, coughing, you know, congested, all that stuff. I'm thinking maybe she got it from my son because he was sick last week and he's been he's been overcoming that. So she, this is her. What, second day staying home? Third day? Third day staying home from school? Because I try to like medicate my children before it comes to the point to where, um, like when it comes to like their allergies and like colds and stuff with them, I try to do medication at home before it gets to the point to where I know that they need an antibiotic. Because, you know, since they are back in school, that's a whole nother different topic. I mean, I'm um, not that really sick. I just have like an itchy throat and, and congestion. Right. So now they're back at school and oh, what's all that's going on to where, you know, I'm being more alert when it comes down to like with them and their health and stuff like that. Because when they were staying home, they wasn't getting sick at all. It's just like now all of a sudden, this month is just like the cold has really touched my son and her. My throat started feeling like that, but I nipped it in the bud like right away. As soon as I felt that itchiness in my throat, I got my medicine and uh, my natural stuff and I started doing that like right away. With them, it's like it hit them real quick. It's just like my son was feeling good and then like the next morning bam it's like he had a full-blown cold and i'm like because i was thinking that it was allergies and you know the weather has changed let me roll up this windows because these people don't be in all nosy since the weather has changed um the cold has hit them too like real bad and i was like you know i give them the allergy medicine but now it's just like it turned into a full-blown cold so i've been working that disinfecting everything washing covers bed spreads blankets pillowcases disinfecting the house cleaning um also um vicks vapor rub open cracking like the windows so they can let some fresh air come throughout the house and um as well i boil a pot of hot water and i put like some rosemary in there some orange peels with some lemons in there and lemon juice and um garlic and i boil it in a pot so what i do is i get a towel and put it over their head and let them lean over the pot so they can actually like inhale the water to like kind of open up their their nasal cavity and that really when i did that for my son that really opened up his he was able to breathe a lot better his nose wasn't as stuffy like I did. I took him to the doctor. Um, he did test negative for COVID so I'm on my way to take my daughter to get her tested just to be on the safe side. Um, sorry about that you guys. No um, they haven't been, they have their taste, no fevers no diarrhea none of that so that's a good thing that you know don't have to be worrying about that but so they're able to eat their food they haven't been having no fever no diarrhea you know none of that stuff so that's a good thing let me fix this i don't know what's going on with it 
All right, I'll be back, you guys. Let me fix this. All right, so it's fixed now. I got my natural hair out. What I need to do is I need to turn some air on because it's hot. What I need to do is I need to rewash it and put some of that curl putty back on my hair and then retwist it again and leave the twist in for a couple of days because yeah, I guess everybody do want to turn today. Um See, this is crazy. I need to adjust this thing. That's what I need to do. All right, you guys. This thing don't want me to be great. Hold on. All right, so I'm back. So we are at the place. The place is not too far from where we live. So I'm about to go run in right quick, get my door to check in, and I'll be back. All right, you guys. I am back. All right, so basically when you go to your doctors, I'm not sure whether or not y'all have this at where y'all live at, but I know here, um, like if you go into your regular um, primary doctor or your OB doctor, um, basically you can't come in and sit down. Um, they want you to wait in your cars and then they will either call you or text you and let you know that, hey, your doctor's ready for you. It's okay for you to come into the building. <laughs> And you know, wear your mask and all that. So basically, that's what I just did. I just went in, I checked my daughter in, um, fill out that little questionnaire, the little questions that they ask you regarding um like your illness, the COVID. Um, so you got to ask, so you got to circle yes or no, and then that's it. And then they'll fill out the little chart with your with your name or your whoever has been seen on that piece of paper. So that's what I did. So basically, that's what um, the protocol now until further notice. So the only thing we can do right now is just wait in the car and wait for me to either get a phone call or a text message to let us know if it's okay for us to come inside or not but any hoot we just sit here waiting I don't want them to roll this window down because it's hot so y'all may hear noise but it'll be okay so I've been taking care of my son and my daughter and it's been sick. She been getting her vitamin C in, um, orange juice, and her father brought some orange juice, natural orange juice, um, and a bag of oranges for you know ever for them to eat on and for us to eat on. And um, so they can get their vitamin C in. I do got them some. Um, I've been giving them some um, supplements like with Z um, zinc in it, vitamin D, stuff for their immune system. And I got that liquid chlorophyll that they can take too. So my oldest daughter, she took some last night in her orange juice. Um, with the liquid chlorophyll is like a dark green. It's best to put it, you will be coming through here and while I'm trying to record. So with the liquid chlorophyll, it's best to drink that with either water or like some type of juice besides orange juice. My daughter, my oldest daughter was having a hard time swallowing. I said, if you sip on it, it's gonna it, it's gonna take longer. Just hold your nose or you know, drink it. Like, you'll be okay if you do that. Just hold your nose and just drink it. Drink it real fast. Don't just sip on it because the longer you sip on it, the longer it's going to take for you to get it down. So, anyway, so that's what she did. So, I, um, I, I didn't give her that much. See, she didn't have that much orange juice in her cup so i decided to give her the um she wanted to measure the liquid chlorophyll and i told her i said you don't have to measure the liquid chlorophyll just put it in there just put it in there 
That's all you got to do. Just put it in there. So, she drunk that and, hey, it is what it is. Throw these windows back down because it's hot out here. Even though it's hot October, it's always hot here around about this time of the other year of October. It really do not start to get cold to around about like early November, late November. So it's still feeling hot. Yeah, it's hot here. I know it's got to be at least eighty something degrees here right now. Got to be. Because people still walking around with flip-flops and shorts on and dresses, sundresses on. Like, yeah. Now, in the morning, it's cool. But around about 8 o'clock, 7.30, 8 o'clock, that's when it started to get hot here. So, right now, it is hot out here. Um, so you guys, I did, po I did uploaded a video on yesterday, my pinch me, um, unbox it. So you guys, if you haven't checked that out, make sure you go check that out. Also, I am going to, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow is Thursday. So I am going to be doing the hot peanut challenge tomorrow y'all pray for a sister you know to do that because i got a couple of people that responded back to my 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 um my um video that i uploaded yesterday from pinch me it came with a sample of those um almonds that's um ghost pepper it was a ghost pepper uh -huh. so ghost ghost pepper almonds so I got a couple of people that messaged me and said they would love to see that video. So I'm gonna do that video on tomorrow. And we're gonna see how that's gonna be because Lord, I know my mouth is gonna be set on fire. I just know that my mouth is gonna be on fire trying to do that video. That's, that's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get like some water or um i'm gonna have to get some ice cream so tomorrow before i get the whole thing set up i'm just gonna go get me some ice cream some ice too. so that means i'm gonna have to go to qt so i'm gonna go to qt qt and get the extra large cup of ice QT. yeah what is what i say qt i'm gonna go to qt so i'm gonna go to qt tomorrow get me a large cup of ice i'm gonna get two cups of ice because i love eating ice i'm gonna get a large cup of ice and then i'm gonna get um what else i'm gonna get a thing of ice cream i'm not gonna get no big thing of ice cream well then again i should i'm just gonna get a big thing of ice cream not no big container container but you know maybe like a half pint or a pint of ice cream and then i'm gonna just go from there i'm gonna do the video at the desk at the computer instead of doing me re recording it i'm gonna record it i'm not gonna do it live i'm gonna record it and do that video because i can't do that live man because if i have to get up and go run to the bathroom or something of that nature. I know. I won't even be able to make it back to even like end the live. So the recording, I'm just going to do a recording. That's what I'm going to do. But anywho, you guys, I just want to get in here and just give y'all an update. I'm just going to be sitting here. Um chillax and put your dress down chill. chillax and then wait to be called and then i will get back and give y'all update all right see y'all in the next clip all right i am back we are back so we are now leaving the doctor's office i'm tell y'all one thing
have y'all ever been into y'all doctor's office or hospital and your doctors or the nurse or whoever's that seeing you, the physician that's coming to see you, they come in like like they got some of them got bad news sometimes. Like we just before I came on here and picked this back up to record to let y'all know what's going on. Two of the nurses, physicians came in like they got some bad news handing me the piece of paper. And I'm sitting there looking like, okay, y'all gonna say something? Like, open up your mouth. And then she gonna hand me the paper saying, well, it's negative. And I'm like, okay. Like, you should have said that from the beginning. You sitting here waiting two or three minutes. Like, it was something serious. It actually scared me for a little bit. Like, that was like crazy. So, my daughter tested negative for COVID. Basically, she said what's going around is a lot of cases where a lot of children, a lot of people just got a real bad common cold. So, and it's like allergy season too. Still, still, still allergy season. So, my daughter, she has asthma. So, by her having asthma allergies and the cold all together, it's just triggering. She just got a nasal um, infection. So what I've been doing, they say, is actually helping her. So we didn't have to go get no antibiotics. Um, they check her lungs, um, her breathing, her CO2. Everything was normal. She didn't have a fever, so that was normal as well. So basically, everything is just good at this time. She just have to um, I just got to continue doing what I'm doing. So, which is actually helping her. So, um, they did say it's okay for her to go to school long as she doesn't have a fever and, um, she tested, tested negative for the COVID, but I'm going to play it by ear because I don't like to send my children to school sick. I really don't. I never was that parent to send my children to school sick. If my children not feeling good and um, I normally just let them stay home and I just take the day off to make sure they okay because I don't want nobody else's child to get sick and I know how it is, you know, with single parents and parents just in general, you know, they're having a hard time. They may not have a job to where, like, their job may not be as lenient as some other employers or, you know, employers may be. You know, some parents, they may send their child to school not feeling well, but it's bad. Some, some, some parents think it's best for them to get a call from that child's school than just having the child just stay at home. Because I have been into that position to where I've seen a lot of parents, they was like, well, I'd rather just send my child to school and then wait for the school to call and I'll come and pick up my child. It works better that way. And it's sad that, you know, that some jobs is like that to where, you know, they making it difficult for parents who have children and they rather give you points and um, write you up because you leaving your job to take care of your kids. Your, your children's life come first. That job can wait because I always tell anybody whoever I work for, uh, listen, uh, my children come first. <laughs> I will quit this job and go find another one. I refuse to put my job ahead of my children. I don't care what job or what company I work for. Because that job will always be there. My children may not. So my children's life is way more important than a job. Yes, I know I need a job to 
keep a roof over our head and to pay bills and stuff like that, but I can always go get another one. Oh, but you can't replace your children. This one you he should be back. Um, this later on. You can you can't replace your child. You can replace a job, but you can't replace your child. So miss me with that but it's sad that a lot of a lot of parents have went through that to where they was like well just go to school and just call go to the nurse office and call me when you get done you know call me and let me know hold on you guys Yes, can I get a large caramel frappe? Thank you. That'll be it. Alrighty, ma'am. Your total is going to be 464 at the first window. Alright, thank you. Thank you. What? We are the world. Let me stop saying that's all. So I definitely don't want to get copyright. That's that's crazy that we can't even sing songs no more. Four sixty four is your song. You too. Thank you. But yeah, so yeah, that's crazy that, you know, we, I'm in the drive through getting me a frappe because I love them caramel frappes. Oh, that's yours? Yes. Oh, okay, yeah. But, um, yeah, because I can get me some ice. I only get two cups of ice. Yeah, that's, that's crazy that some parents, you know, have a spirit stat to where they have to send their child to school sick and wait for that child to call them for them to leave so it really won't count against them that's the crazy part about that they should have some type of exception for parents regardless if they your natural you know blood related children or not just someone that's taking care of a minor period regardless of who you are or regardless of how that child came into your life there should be some exception parents shouldn't have to be penalized because their child may be sick early in the morning or throughout the night or they may have to spend the night before in the hospital room and they just now getting home two three four five o'clock in the morning knowing they got to go to work you know what i'm saying especially if they got documentation you know what i'm saying i could see like if a uh, if an employee is like abusing the system now that's something totally different but if they're not and they got documentation that should count more than anything wait a minute you guys Diana. yes you too thank you mm -hmm. to me that makes more sense and it's crazy that you know parents have to go through that But anyways, um, I'm glad that I brought my daughter to Stat Care to get her checked out to make sure there's no other underlying issues that's going on with her. And now we are on our way to QT. So I'm going to go take her there. And I'm going to go get me two cups of ice, you guys. That, that's scary how they just walked in. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, man. I said, I hope I don't have COVID. Right, I'm going to sit there thinking like, okay, you going to give me the paper? Like, are you going to say something? Or are you going to let me know like, hey, she got COVID or what? Like, this is crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. 
But anyways, <clears throat> I will pick y'all up when I get the QT. QT. All right, we are heading in QT. What you getting, Zion? So cutie has like all these little drinks. And the little frozen drinks. Huh? How large are little chicks? Um, hold on. What kind of candy are you going to get? You want that one? Let's see what you want. Which one you want? I know, come on. Wow, this is how my cute look. Okay, so they got frozen hot chocolate. Okay, so they got frozen cappuccino smoothie, frozen hot chocolate, frozen caramel latte, and frozen horchata. And then they got pumpkin spice, cappuccino, hot chocolate, and cappuccino. Hot chocolate and cappuccino. And then they got all the coffee drinks. Women's bathroom, all the little stuff. And then they got the kitchen area where you can order drinks, and pizzas, pretzels, all that good stuff. All right, you guys, pick it up when I get back. Okay, I'm back, you guys. But I forgot to end out my live yesterday as we left the QT store. Um, so. This has been like an update as far as what's been going on and stay tuned for my next video, which will be me eating those hot peanuts, you guys. So stay tuned to that. If you have subscribed to the channel, like I stated, I don't know what you're waiting for. Just hit that subscribe button and make sure you thumbs up this video. Share this video out and leave a comment or two as well. Also, check out my description box for all of my social media platforms. And y'all stay tuned. All right. Y'all have a good one. Peace out.